Shabbat nobody else's auto. It is a little bit late tonight. It is now 7.30 instead of 7 o'clock. But we went to an auction today. My buddy Mike is here in town because we had to go to a cool farm auction today. We were there all day, literally all day. We didn't get back till well after 5. By the time we got unloaded, got something to eat, run a little bit behind tonight. But since Mike's here, he got something super cool today that's kind of a piece of memorabilia that we're going to share with you. Plus, we're going to check out some cool toy airplanes. So did we buy some cars today? Yes, I bought, well, I bought mainly trucks today. I think I bought all trucks today. So we got a lot more cool stuff coming in there. We picked up some other cool pieces, picked up some oil cans, picked up some hubcaps. So we're going to check out a few toys because it's Toy Tuesday. Then we're going to check out another super cool piece of memorabilia. Now, my buddy Mike here is a tractor guy. He's got a ton of cars. David W. is here with us, but he's also a tractor guy. So please bear that in mind because I think you bought some tractors today too. Yes, sir. Okay. Shockingly. Shockingly. Yeah. Uh, Bill's on with us. Glad you made it, Bill. So let's check out a few cool airplanes. Randy's here. We'll get to these airplanes. I've got so many toys we haven't got to you guys. I wanted to sneak a few toys in before we get to the super cool piece that Mike got today. So big job made it tonight. So starting off with, these are both Japanese tins. Jim's a tractor fan as well. We'll start off with this cool little Sea Patrol airplane. Don't know much about it. Alan from Arizona is on with us. This is a friction Sea Patrol airplane. Pete made it tonight. Probably 60s era, propeller spins, nice paint on this thing, pretty cool piece. Don't know much about it, only had it for a few weeks, but there again, Ryan and Amy are here with us. It's a neat little toy airplane. I love all this old tin stuff, as you well know. So I wanted to slide this one in. Like I said, I've been buying so many toys, I don't want to forget them all. That's right, Big Job, it does have great colors on it with the red and the blue and the yellow. It's a cool looking airplane. The next airplane we're going to check out, even cooler. So, we'll, we'll take this one in for a landing, and we'll take off in another one. This one came out of the same place. Pete digs the colors as well. Dennis is on with us. This is a military air transport. I love this airplane. Great condition, great graphics, great colors. All the propellers are there. Check this thing out. Uh, the other one, is it marked or stamped anywhere? Um, no, it does not have any stampings, uh, company stampings on the Sea Patrol plane. Bud's here with us. So, this airplane I was really excited about, the Military Air Transport Service. Pete likes this one better, too. Still, even have graphics on the bottom. Nice paint, nice graphics, all the propellers intact. Now, the one thing that really cracks me up about this airplane is on the bottom says USAF on it, but here's what I thought was hilarious. The radar, they instead of, the, of actually putting a radar dome on it, they just painted a circle and put radar in the middle of the circle that they painted on the bottom of the wing. Hey, I guess it worked. It was a toy. I guess it got the point across. That's all that mattered. This does have all the wheels on it and everything, all intact, great condition. Number one made it. Yeah, these are both pretty nice pieces. Um, I don't remember if there was a company on this one or not, but I don't see anything on this one as a company stamping either. But obviously, super cool piece that I was really excited to get. Brian's on with us. Well, you're late, but we're later, so don't feel too, feel too bad because we're running late too. We've been at that auction all day. Literally, we left at uh, 10 after 8 and got back at about 5.30 tonight. So... Um, <laughs> now, I didn't even have to bring a Hudson badge. Mike's a big fan of beer. We don't even need a Hudson badge for Mike. He's not afraid to suck one down. So there's a couple of cool toys because it is Toy Tuesday, but this other cool piece of memorabilia, we're going to let Mike show it to you. It's his piece. Um, man, my coolest plane is still at the airfield. But let's check out this super cool thing that Mike bought. Now, it's a little off base. Just uh, not what we typically look at on here, but it is super cool. Check this thing out. We'll see if we can tilt the camera down so you guys can take a little better look at it. Like I said, Mike is a tractor guy and he picked up this super cool Oliver boat motor. Does it fire up? Not yet, but it will. <laughs> so we're at this auction, a lot of cool tractors there and they had this awesome Oliver boat motor. Now these were the Oliver Tractor Company but you said they, they sold them at Oliver dealers alongside of tractors. Yes. But they weren't an Oliver piece. No, Pete, this thing is original. This is all original decals, original paint. It's a pretty cool piece. 
Look at that. All still intact. I don't think this is like an OSHA approved flywheel <laughs> setup here, is it? Probably not. Probably not. That's one of the ones that will get you in trouble. <laughs> I mean, if that thing was running, I mean, it is literally right out there in the open. You got the guard. Look how nice that oh, is. Oh, wow. That's even got all the lining and everything in oh, it. Oh, yeah. Even the rubber, the rubber stoppers are still good. <laughs> this is very nice condition. You don't find stuff like this every day. I mean, this is something just like, when you see it, you got to buy it. You got to buy it. Because you said they only sold these for like a couple years. Yes, yeah, yeah. So there's not, it's not like something that's real plentiful. Frank's here with us. You don't stumble onto these every day. It has the, I know you guys can't see it, but right down here, it actually still has the original tag. Uh, Great at engineering age, outboard motor. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, these are cool. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people, a lot of companies did sell them. But this little tag here says the Oliver Corporation Marine Division right on it. It even came on its own cool little stand. So you can wheel it around, you can fire it up. Let's flip it around and show them the other side, because the other side is, is literally just as good. Oh, we got the control lever over here, though. So we can go reverse, forward. That's not broke off. Oh, yeah, we got the controls back here. Jeff from Ottawa's here with us. 15 horsepower, lean, rich, all kinds of cool stuff. So we'll kind of tip it down a little bit more, see if you guys can actually see the bottom of it. I mean, it's all there, all the way down to the little propeller. And it's an Oliver 15, which means it's 15 horse. David W. digs it. Yeah, the Big Job says hit the like button. Appreciate that. So definitely, like I said, it was going to be something a little bit different. But I thought, what the heck? We just got it today. Mike's going to be taking it home with him. He's like, let's do the boat motor. It's like, awesome. Let's do the boat motor. And that's right. And the styling, I mean, this thing even has design in it. I mean, the way this is curved, I know you guys probably can't make out the curvature of this housing and the way it's designed. It's got this indented in here. It's got great graphics on it with the red sweep around the Oliver. Like I said, it's just a neat piece. It is definitely different. Like I said, something that they only sold for a couple years were never extremely popular. So you just don't see that many of them. I don't know that I've ever seen one. But uh, I was super geeked for Mike to get it added to his collection. Bill says it's cool. Had a friend in his area that has over 300 different ones. Well, I wonder if he's got an Oliver because you don't see them every day. Uh, yeah, I bet it did look good on a boat. Uh, you going to put it back into use? It's going to be running soon. Promise. It you. will be running. Will you don't have you don't have a boat though. Yeah, I don't know how to swim either. <laughs> that don't matter. Shop cat has a four horse Thomas, or is it a six? Either way, it's pretty small. <laughs> what era? You said these were early sixties, right? Sixties, yes. So well, in the early sixties, for two or three years, you could buy this at your Oliver tractor dealer. Yes. So not something that is extremely common, not something you see very often. And to see one in this condition, original paint, original decals. I mean, look at that handle. Yeah, yeah, even the handle, which is going to be used every time you use it, you're going to twist that, turn it, is still in great shape. Awesome. I mean, it just has some barn dust on it. I love it. <laughs> which actually makes it worth more, right? Because it's got barn dust on it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's, I can't believe it. I never thought I'd be able to purchase that today. Well, and with your Oliver collection, you said you got all the literature on these. Yes, yes, yeah. I, there ain't much on Oliver I ain't got. And so it's just something that's, you know, it needs to come home. So it's one of those things. Oliver, Oliver didn't make boats, though, I don't think, did they? Mm -mm, mm -mm. They just, you could order the engine. Right. Uh, Alan, as a, as a former farm kid, is an Oliver fan as well. Uh, did International make boat motors? They made freezers. They made about anything else, but I don't remember a boat motor. <laughs> yeah, they did make about everything else. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like I said... And they were second place, just saying. <laughs> right there. From an Oliver guy. Yeah. Uh, only thing we ever had was an 88 diesel tractor. Ain't nothing wrong with that, son. Ain't nothing <laughs> you, wrong with that. Yeah. I tried to buy one today. I ran that tractor up and didn't get her, and I should have. That's the problem. So, yeah, you actually didn't buy... Today, you did not buy very many tractors. No. Uh, go borrow a boat and go fishing. Sounds like a hell of a deal. Can't but, swim. Yeah. That's why you have a boat. Oh. You're yeah. not supposed to fall in. That's, <laughs> that's the purpose right. of the boat. I'm just catching on. I'm, I'm kind of slow. We're farmers out there. <laughs> so we're going to have to cut him back on the beer tonight sure. because he's already kind of getting a little slow in the conversation. But uh, It happens. 
But there he is. Like I said, it is something definitely a little bit different, not the norm of what we always look at on here. We'll see if we can give you a little bit closer look at this thing and the detail on the just the way this thing was designed, the decals, this thing, like I said, I'm completely convinced that it is all original. It has its own cool little stand so you can wheel it around, be able to fire it up on that stand. Jim's got an Oliver spark plug box, but no plugs. Eric's here with us. Well, you caught us at the end, Eric. You still get to take a glance at the super cool Oliver boat motor. My buddy Mike just picked up at the farm auction today. Like I said, we had a good day over there. Um, Shopcat hit 650 subs. Great. Keep, mo keep moving forward. That's what you got to do. Um, some other guys were there today. Uh, Tim, uh, Mr. Good Pliers was there. Um, Silas was there uh, from Hutch, Kansas. So talk to all those guys. The National Plywood Association has a bunch of cool runabout boat plans free online. There you go. You can build your own boat. That yeah, sounds like a, not a good idea. <laughs> That's where that uh, that swimming thing might come into play. Yeah. If uh, if you built your own boat, no, that might not no, work out too no, good. So. No. No. But like I said, it uh, it's something different, but it was something cool. Tweety D's here with us. That I thought you guys would appreciate. I'm glad you do. I'm glad you think it's kind of cool. I was super geeked that Mike got it bought. Happy for him. Great piece to add to his collection. And uh, like I said, definitely not a tractor, but definitely the same company. And that was you know back then a lot of those companies did all that different stuff. We'd like to get an Oliver riding lawnmower, but they go for some pretty good money. Tell us about Oliver riding lawnmowers, Mike. I just happen to know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> they may have one or two or whatever, however they made, you know. I mean, so I, what do you got for Oliver lawnmowers? Uh, what do I have? I got uh, three, one, one, one fifty. I can't remember the numbers, but got them. It'll be running a, soon, Shopcat. So, and I got a miniature uh, little eighty-eight Oliver that we made. Um, we got lots of Oliver stuff. It's a uh, got. I mean, Mark's here. We got anything from front wheel assist to uh, early stuff to late stuff. Um, you know, 2255s with the V8s uh, to uh, the earliest stuff they made. Uh, we kind of like the Olivers out this way. <laughs> Perfect, Mark. Appreciate that. Is that Oliver colors on the motor? Not really. Uh, no. No, it's not. Rusty's late, but he made it. Um, a little lighter so, green. Yeah, it is kind of a lighter green. Turquoise or yeah, green. it is kind of a turquoise almost. Yeah. Um, was there, do you know any reasoning behind any of that? Is that what all the literature looks like that you have? Yes, it is. It is. It is. The posters I got. Uh, Appreciate that, Tweedly D. Out in western Kansas, uh, we don't have what they call water, rain, or lakes. So <laughs> all my dealers out here, we ne they never even sold one probably. So finding one of these out here is just, I mean, it's a, you know, just Almost neat. unheard of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're kind of excited. So we had a question that's also going to set you off. Uh, uh, minis. Mini Moe's! Yes, man. Go ahead. So, Joe says, how about Minneapolis Moline's? Well, Mike's got a, a problem with minis, too. I do have a... I like mini -o In fact, I just got uh, the fourth, the last uh, 1355 ever made, which is last uh, when Mini and Oliver, they're fighting in between the company. Neither one likes each other. They're trying to put the rear end of the Oliver in. They're trying to put the front end of the Minneapolis Moline. You get cockshut involved out of Canada. I mean, you got a mess, and everybody's fighting in between. And so, Minneapolis Moline... The, if you ever had a G1000 with a bad bull gear, that which you did if you owned a G1000 because every <laughs> one of them was bad. I mean, mini mows are awesome, but uh, it's not one of them tractors that, you know, you're, you're, you want to work on every day. It's just the way it is. So, yeah, Mike knows a little bit about minis as well, obviously. Let's uh, catch a few more comments here. Uh, you got any mini bikes or power tools for sale? Got any what? Mini bikes. You have any mini bikes for sale? Used to. That sounds oh. like somebody I should know or something. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. do, does Mike have any videos of his collection? No, but I needed to get out there, so He's maybe we'll do out. some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll do some stuff hey, out and there. And if you like toys, I'm the toy guy. If this guy's got, like, yeah, if yeah. they made a toy tractor, he's probably got it yeah, in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's way fewer tractors that you have that have been made that you don't have in the box than yeah, you have yeah, in the box. No, my toy collection is top rate. Uh, you got to have another. I'd have a boy, Mike, and name him Oliver. There you go. That's right. <laughs> Or a dog. <laughs> or a dog. Uh, Jacobson tractors. Oh, yeah, Jacobson. Can yeah. restore as a Jake, a Ford, a Mini, or a White? Yeah. Jacobson is basically a Minneapolis Moline. I mean, it's kind of like these boat motors. This ain't actually all Oliver. This is going to be like a Jacobson is your Minneapolis Moline, which is going to be somebody else made it. They just start doing this. I mean, 
you know, AMF. Well, if you start even looking, I mean, Chevrolet GMC, I mean, you know, kind of the same. So there was a lot of collaboration going on. It was, it was Cockshut, Oliver, Mini, and White. Yes, and then all, White bought them out, yeah. Okay. White, yeah, and, and then they all went bankrupt. <laughs> Kind of like your international boys. Yeah. Just saying. Boat, another Ackerman for bust out in a thousand, that's for sure. Uh, excuse the ignorance, but I'd rather learn from Mike than Wiki. What's Mini Mo? Minneapolis Moline. He's yes, just slang yes. for Minneapolis Moline. Yes. Shop cap threw that out there, so did Pete. Kenner SSP or Smash Up Derby cars or sets? Uh, uh, I don't know what any of that maybe is. He's been drinking more than I have. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do some stuff from Mike's for sure. Eric says we're just talking over his head. Well, it's talking over my head, too. That's why he's here. And when all you guys start asking tractor questions, that's why I'm just sending him straight to this guy because he's the tractor guy. Yeah. Because I don't really know much about him. But like I said, this thing was so cool. With the original paint, the original graphics, it's uh, it's just awesome. And I was super excited for Mike to get it. Ryan and Amy also had a UB set up for pulling. There ain't nothing wrong with UBs, man. I'll tell you what. I've got the last GB ever made. It's a GB diesel, which is kind of cool, but it's the last one, last serial number, everything else. GB diesel, which if you've ever been around GB diesels, that's, you know, uh, 6,100 pounds, 6,300 pounds. I'm pulling in a 5,500 pound class. Um, we're cheating a little bit, but don't tell nobody. <laughs> All right, what else we got, Pope? Eloy made it here towards the end. Uh, Shopcat, I will present a brief history of Alice Chalmers' lawn and garden equipment ventures in the description of tomorrow's video. But he's, he's going to introduce the Alice Chomper. Chalmers. He's going to make an Alice Chomper, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, I got <laughs> Alice Chalmers, too. I got a <laughs> hell of a collection of lawnmowers of Alice Chalmers. Number one, uh, he has been drinking because it was pizza night, weirdly, and it's a two-can per slice rule on the hockey team. I like it. You don't play hockey, but you could go with the oh, two can cans per slice rule. I like anything to do with drinking or hockey <laughs> So, well, stay safe out there, number one. Don't uh, don't get hurt, banged up too bad on the ice tonight if you guys are playing tonight. But and if you need I, somebody to come in and fill in, I might be your guy. <laughs> Although, what I don't understand, if it's hockey night, I assume you're, maybe you're just watching hockey, I hope. Oh. Because if you were like two slice, two cans per slice minimum, and you were trying to play hockey, that would probably be bad. I thought hockey's over. I don't know. I don't follow it, so oh, okay. I don't know. 4.5, says number one. So you've had uh, 4.5 slices of pizza or <laughs> oh, 4.5 beers, hopefully. So oh, lightweight, but he's up there in Canada. So mm. Canadian, a eh? hoser. <laughs> what was that movie that had all the drinking going on? Strange brew or what was that Canadian deal? Oh, it made, it made Canadians. Uh, let's see. David W. has a 68 Alice B112 lawnmower. Are you familiar with those? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I've got, I've got one of the slickest ones you've ever seen. Front. Uh, actually, I had to put it all back together just because I wanted to, when it snowed that one time, I tried to snow blow because I've never done it and wanted to do it with a B112. They suck on snow blowing, but it was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Pete says it was Strange Brew, so. Yeah, Strange Brew. <laughs> that was the greatest movie. Yeah. Hey, hoser. <laughs> Had a restaurant in Union Grove, Wisconsin, had nothing but mini de decor and authentic pieces and signs. That's awesome. Uh, Post-game dressing room beers and pizza. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So it's, they're, they're off the ice. So I, I can't ice skate, uh, period. <laughs> I don't know how you could do it after that many beers. So They got a weight limit on ice skating? Just <laughs> so can you made it tonight? We're just about ready to wrap up. Like I said, running a little behind, but that's because this auction, this, this auction was massive. I mean, when you have auctioneers going all day long from here to there, I mean, it was, have you been in the one lately? I mean, this is live auction, guys. This ain't internet anymore. This was a great company, put on a great auction. I mean, if you haven't been to an auction live, there's nothing like it. I mean, it was, it was it's fun. Oh, yeah, it's way I better mean, than an online auction. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to talk about, you're getting excited. I mean, and like, when this came up, I'm like, oh, I don't think I can afford it. Then I'm like, well, that guy's bidding me up. Screw him. I'm going to buy it. And then it's just it's just all roll of them. And, and I did get some clips of Mike buying it also. Yeah. Wheel horse mowers. You got a, you heard of a wheel horse? Oh mower? yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I shot a ton of clips today. Tons and tons of clips today. I'm gonna have two or three or four videos time this is all done. Um, I've got just some still. We got there early. I got uh, no. It was not consignment. It was a. Uh, it was an estate. It was a estate. And this guy had been going to auctions for decades. Yeah, and the auctioneer company was awesome. And awesome. they they had a man. They sold from 10 to 4.30, and they never stopped. Yeah, I mean, and unbelievable. Not, yeah. yeah, just no. 
it flowed, but that's how much off. stuff was there. Uh, ten trailers probably. Ten trailers plus. I mean, thirty from, vehicles, probably fifty tractors. Yes. I mean, just oh, it was crazy. So, yeah. uh, Mike from New Waverly, Texas, is on. What? How many auction beers did uh, Mini Mo Mike have? Actually, you didn't have any beer at the auction today. No, sir. I've learned a long time ago. I know somebody. You want to hear a story? <laughs> I got a story for you. Yeah. So me and him, we go to Meekum auction, right? And I said, well, you want to tell the story, I'll let you tell the story. Well, we were at, this was at 6 o'clock on Saturday night. Yeah. And it was getting pretty late. And they were rerunning a bunch of stuff people decided they didn't want to take home. Yeah. So they were just they were just lining some stuff back up, and people were just like, let's see if we can get a bid on it and get rid of it. This, now, remember that 6 o'clock at night thing. That's kind of important. Yeah, I've been there a while. Because they started selling beer at 9.30. I'm first one in line. I'm first He's one the in first line. one in line. Yes. So obviously you can tell where Mike was at at this point. I had to drive back to the hotel, so I was okay. But uh, they had this old beat up '67 Sportster. They shove it up on the block, and Mike does it like a great idea. Stick his hand in the air. I had a reserve on it. Everything was fine. So we're just sitting there. They're beating on this thing. But nobody else will bid. Nobody else will bid. And all of a sudden they go, the reserve is off. I goes, oh no! And bam! And hammered it. And we had to drag this junk motorcycle home. And we get back to the hotel, and I was like, we got to go load that motorcycle tomorrow. He's like, what motorcycle? What motorcycle? And then I told him I was going to drive it home. Yeah, right after he bought it, he's like, he says, I'm going to drive that, ride that home tomorrow. I'm like, dude, it's 15 and sleeting out. Yeah. Don't care. I got it. Don't so, worry about me. So, yeah, we do. We have a lot of good fun. Let's catch up with some of these comments. Yeah, that's right, Dennis. Live auctions are the best. Lawn Boy Shop Cat, that's what number one likes. Uh, let's see. Tweedy has a Montgomery Ward lawnmower. Got some of them early ones. You have a start selling time beer in Kansas at the auction. They do. They start, they're supposed to start at ten. He's in line at nine thirty. Well, yeah, but you got to be a good customer. <laughs> uh, let's see. Glad, Kenny's glad he got here late. Uh, it, yeah, it is. I said we we've been going to Meekin for almost ten years now. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of fun. We always have a great time. But uh, but that's the point. Other than just don't buy stuff you don't want <laughs> or cadillac elantes yeah i mean come on. he actually got lucky on the elante believe yeah. it or not yeah shockingly <laughs> this is the, this is an even better story and fortunately he didn't get stuck with the car because he was liquored up and started bidding on it I and somebody else outbid him and we're like dude don't bid again He's like, don't bid again so we, he doesn't bid again and we go over we're, and we're about 15 minutes later, we're out walking around. We walk past the Elante that, yeah. that Einstein here almost bought. And uh, we found out what happened and why the other guy bid. Yeah. Um, yeah. He was more drunk than Mike was. Because oh. he was there with two of his buddies. And they're like, dude, you bought that? He's like, uh-uh. And they're like, yes, you are. And then, uh -uh. I, and then I tried to make a deal with him to try to buy the car from him. It was bad. It was and bad. there wasn't neither one of them coherent enough to have no, a conversation. No, no. Uh, Gravely mowers. Oh, I ain't got much for Gravely. Gravely, you're a little thin on, huh? Well, I we're gonna have to go out there because my my uh, I've got one shed totally full of lawnmowers. I got lots of sheds full of tractors, and then I got an outside location. And now, hey, and then the newest thing, I'm into uh, snowmobiles. Yeah, yeah, bought one of them today too. Yeah, you did a snowmobile today, but I like uh, I like the early John Deere's with uh, hundred miles. You know, real nice stuff. Yep, so, so yeah, anything that has implement company on it, he may be interested. Yeah. Bill Disk made it towards here right at the end. But anyway, what happened to the motorcycle, you actually, there was a, a kid back in the town where he lived that was trying to restore one. Yeah, and good and, family, good family. Yeah, and he yeah. made him a deal on it. And, and I lost money. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, the problem was he still had the buy fee, even though it was a kind yeah. of rough, and he still had to pay the buy fee on it. Yeah, so. it was rough. So anyway, but like I said, that's, like I said, so if you guys are going to be in near, in near Kansas City here in three weeks, whatever it is, Come out and see Come us. Come out and see us. We have um, fun. We're not the smartest group there, but we have a lot of fun. Well, one of us is <laughs> negatory, Red Rider. <laughs> um, oh, that's the shop cats, what that one was for. Let me make sure. I, I know we missed some comments, but there's a lot of stuff uh, that uh, make sure we got most of it. Gravely, uh, early Gravely LTD 5500s were just rebadged Hans after Gravely bought them. Gravely was a Studebaker subsidiary. Hey, I do have a, uh, I do have a self-propelled Studebaker lawnmower from like 1956. Kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be neat. Yeah, six volt, lovely. <laughs> so, 
So anyway, like I said, definitely some different stuff tonight. Uh, but obviously, you guys appreciated it, which I figured you would. And was still, I'm still super excited that Mike got this for his collection because it is a beautiful piece. I'm not a boat guy, but just it's a great piece. Um, make sure the video up. Mike has a table of stuff he wants to sell <laughs> and his duplicates. So, well, we'll make that happen. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump off and uh, let you guys get back to your evening. We got other stuff we need to do because we got to get ready to go back tomorrow and start hauling stuff and. Uh, Maybe we'll bring you, like I said, I, I shot a ton of video over there today. And uh, maybe we'll shoot a little bit tomorrow of what Mike bought. <laughs> Let's not. Some <laughs> of that Don't ever buy homemade tractors, which I think I bought every one. Well, you bought six of them. I know. <laughs> I like homemade stuff. So it's, it's we fun. may do some, we may shoot some content on that. I got some of it. Actually, I got Mike buying some of it. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I can remind him tomorrow in case he drinks too much beer tonight. Which but, could happen. <laughs> it has happened before. <laughs> So we may shoot a little bit of that. I'll get all the stuff drug in that I bought, and we'll start bringing you new inventory videos on that as well. Thanks for introducing us to Mike. Cheers from Alberta. But like I said, we'll get Mike on here some more. We'll be we'll hey, Hoser. <laughs> hey. Uh, well, like I said, that's right, Mark. Well, I appreciate. Glad you guys appreciated it. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you thought we were funny because we are funny because we're not very smart a lot of times, and we do get accused of that. So. Homemade tractors, Model T or Model A based? Hey, the one I did get, check this out. Model A motor in the tractor. Oliver everywhere else, and then they ran out of time and they put a damn Farmall M. Farmalls, <laughs> I don't like Farmalls if you haven't counted on yet. <laughs> M, but it's all basically Oliver, a little bit of case. It's kind of cool. Wait till I get done with this tractor. It'll be nice. <laughs> uh, oh, now we're Abbott and Costello. I don't think we're that funny. I don't think we're quite near that talented. Oh. We're just not very smart. Well, maybe one of us, not the other. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get ready to sign off. Glad you guys liked the motor. I just thought it was too cool to not share it with you. He is definitely taking this home tomorrow. He's going to have to come back and get the other stuff later. But this thing he's taking home with him tomorrow, I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. I'm glad you guys appreciated it because it is still a neat piece of memorabilia that Mike's going to get running and put in his garage and fired up and just because it's going to look cool. Yeah. Just don't get your fingers caught in that flywheel. <laughs> no, that, yeah. <laughs> Excuse my language, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Glad you had a good time. We will see, uh, we'll get some more content up tomorrow night, probably some clips from the auction. Like I said, I shot a ton of clips. I got to get some stuff pieced together, see what I got, what I want to show you. But we'll have a few auctions from the few videos from the auction, or maybe we'll do your new, your, uh, new tractor collection tomorrow night. We might just have to do that. So... Thanks, guys. I appreciate you swinging by. I'm glad you had fun tonight. We're going to get some things done. Go get start hauling tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you soon. We'll definitely plan on seeing you live Sunday night, 7 o'clock for Sunday night live chat. We'll get you some more new content up the rest of this week. Had a great time with you guys tonight. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon, and definitely catch you Sunday night. He needs to breathe. <laughs> Addy wants to know how we got you on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, he bought a cool boat motor, so we had to bring it on. Um. All right, Kenny, yeah, but go back and check it out. We had a lot of fun tonight with the awesome boat motor as well as a couple of cool toy airplanes tonight. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you Sunday night. Have a good evening.